Ray Kurzweil, the singularity is near, when humans transcend biology. Welcome to a glimpse into the future. In Ray Kurzweil's The Singularity is Near, When Humans Transcend Biology, we explore the accelerating development of technology and its impact on our lives. From the evolution of biology to nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, this book summary highlights various aspects of a rapidly approaching future where our bodies and minds will be transformed. In the coming years, we'll see incredible advancements in robotics, gene therapies, and even our very own human bodies. As we embark on this journey, we'll unpack the key themes and concepts that shed light on an interconnected world where technology and human intelligence will merge in unimaginable ways. The Law of Accelerating Returns Our world is evolving faster than ever before, and according to the Law of Accelerating Returns, this process is accelerating exponentially. In the past, simple biological and technological advancements took millennia to achieve, but now they happen in just a few years. This trend is set to continue as technology continues to advance at an ever-increasing pace. In fact, computer speed in cost per unit has doubled each year, and super-smart computers will soon be able to design superior technologies themselves. As we think about our technological advancements and marvel at their pace, it's important to remember that they will only continue to accelerate. Nanotube and DNA Computing Advancements Computers are constantly evolving through the use of new technologies to improve their efficiency and speed. Despite the limitations of silicon-based chips, new technologies like nanotube and DNA computing are addressing these issues. Nanotubes are tiny carbon atom cylinders that allow quicker data transmission than silicon-based transistors. Theoretical speed limits for nanotube transistor computers reach up to 100 times that of conventional computers. Additionally, 3D chips can vertically stack multiple layers of transistors, which reduces the distance data needs to travel between chips and means faster processing speed. DNA computing has a staggering memory capacity, which could allow for one cubic centimeter of DNA to hold more information than one trillion music CDs. The potential power of DNA computing was demonstrated in 2002 when Ehud Shapiro and his team developed a DNA-based computer that performed 330 trillion operations per second, more than 100,000 times the speed of the fastest PC at that time. These advancements offer exciting possibilities for the future of computing. The future of artificial intelligence. Computers lack insight, social intelligence, and consciousness, but scientists are working on making them more human-like. By 2030, they may be able to reverse-engineer the human brain to create true artificial intelligence. This will require between 100 trillion and 10 quadrillion calculations per second. The computational power of artificial intelligence will eventually exceed the capacity required to emulate all human brain functions, which will lead to many benefits for both machines and humans. The Promise of Nanobots The advent of nanobots has the potential to revolutionize the medical industry by using these nanotechnological robots to alleviate many ailments, from eliminating toxins, viral DNA and bacteria from our bloodstream to cleaning plaque from blood vessels, even curing Alzheimer's disease. Nanobots could also be controlled through the internet and be used to repair damaged genes, giving hope for a future where we are able to resist and overcome physical afflictions. The future of gene therapy. Gene therapy is no longer a far-fetched concept, it is fast becoming a reality. With the use of a simple virus as a gene taxi, scientists can replace defective genes with healthy ones and cure acute illnesses with a straightforward injection. Gene therapy could also help treat severe illnesses caused by damaged or altered genes, such as cancer or sickle cell anemia. Although having a particular gene may increase the risk of certain illnesses, not everyone with that gene is destined to develop the disease. As gene therapies advance, nanobots could eventually monitor health and repair damaged DNA efficiently. The future of gene therapy is promising, and it could revolutionize the way we approach and treat illnesses. Revolutionizing Transplantation Through Cloning 
In the near future, therapeutic cloning could address the challenges of traditional organ transplant procedures. Biotechnology and nanotechnology advancements will soon make it possible to convert one type of cell into another to create custom-made organs in vitro. Cloning can also provide a non-invasive way to revitalize the body by replacing aging cells. As we move towards a new era of biological human bodies, therapeutic cloning has the potential to vastly improve transplantation medicine. The Future of Cyborgs Imagine having a body that is more non-biological than biological, where your organs are replaced by electronic devices with the power to enhance your body's performance drastically. This transformation will occur by the year 2030, and nanobots will play a significant role in driving it. Respiracytes, nanobots that deliver oxygen to the bloodstream and remove carbon dioxide, will replace your heart, lungs, and blood. Feeding nanobots will deliver nutrients to every cell, and elimination nanobots will clean up waste, making vitamin deficiency in obesity a thing of the past. By the late 2030s, we'll exchange this, body 2.0, with something more durable and renewable, body 3.0. The new body will be made up of, foglets, nanobots that can transform into any form, manipulate visual information, and sound waves. These foglets will give humans the ability to change their appearance at will from Spock to supermodel in seconds. The future holds incredible possibilities for cyborgs and a fundamental and liberating makeover for humanity. The Future of Brain-Computer Interfaces As brain-computer interfaces advance, the line between human and artificial intelligence is becoming blurred. Science labs across the world are discovering new possibilities with neurochip implants attached to living nerve cells, allowing them to see how nerve tissues respond to electrical stimulation. These implants hold the potential to greatly expand our working memory capacity and provide access to long-term memory at will. By the 2030s, nanobots could be used to connect our brains to the internet, allowing us to access any information we need. With these advancements, Humans will become incredibly intelligent, and it may be impossible to distinguish between AI and human intelligence. The Singularity, A New Era The future holds an unimaginable change in human history called the Singularity, expected to occur around 2045. With $1,000, one will be able to purchase a computer a billion times more intelligent than all of humanity combined. Soon after the Singularity, machines will develop revolutionary technologies in mere days. The post-singularity world will bring immortality and intelligence to the universe. As computer chips reach a physical limit, they will increase in size, turning the Earth into a giant computer with the help of nanobots. Nanobots will self-replicate using materials such as dead wood or ashes and form a computer. The materials of stars and planets will eventually be transformed into computers. The future may seem unusual or alarming, but advancements are based on what we understand and can comprehend. The dangers of self-replicating nanobots The use of self-replicating nanobots may lead to catastrophic consequences for humans and the environment, as they could become infected with viruses and destroy all life on Earth in just a few days. However, if properly managed, the use of nanobots could lead to a remarkable future with advanced technology and extended lifespans. By 2045, humans can expect to have advanced brain implants that will enhance their intelligence and help them keep up with the rapidly evolving world. However, the introduction of nanobots into our bodies poses significant risks. Nanobots assigned to vital organs like the brain or immune system will need replacement as soon as possible if they are destroyed, and self-replication is the most efficient way to achieve this. While self-replication seems like the perfect solution, it could lead to disastrous consequences. Self-replicating nanobots could become infected with viruses that cause them to self-regulate poorly, ultimately resulting in out-of-control self-replication. The worst-case scenario is if infected nanobots start acting like cancer cells, replicating limitlessly. The consequences of self-replicating nanobots running amok would be catastrophic, both inside and outside the human body. If nanobots multiplied outside the body, they could destroy all life on Earth within a few days. Carbon atoms are the building blocks of nanobots, 
and if they replicate uncontrollably, they could decimate the Earth's biomass rapidly. All life on Earth would be destroyed within 130 replications, a process that could take only between three hours and a few days. Despite the dangers of self-replicating nanobots, they also present an opportunity for humans. Properly managed, nanobots could lead to a remarkable future with advanced technology in extended lifespans. By 2045, humans could live forever, transform into powerful cyborgs, and communicate daily with super-smart, sentient robots. In conclusion, our world is experiencing rapid advancements like never before, introducing profound changes in healthcare, technology, and human evolution. From extending our lifespans through nanobots and gene therapy to enhanced human intelligence with brain-computer interfaces, the possibilities are endless. Kurzweil's The Singularity is Near highlights these remarkable innovations and their potential consequences, including the singularity itself, a point in time when machine intelligence surpasses human understanding. This book summary provides an engaging, well-organized, and instructive overview of the technological developments that will shape our lives in the coming decades. And so, as we look ahead, let us cherish our uniquely human qualities while embracing the fascinating prospects of a boundless future.